ladies and gentlemen, my name's Amanda from scrimpingmommy.co.uk and today I'm going to make quite a special card. I'm going to do a lot more to it than I normally do. I normally try and do them quite minimal. This one is for a special occasion. So I'm using lots of layers and uh, quite a bit of card and quite a bit of paper. But it's for a special occasion. And I'm going to be using some of these beautiful stamps here from uh, the Graceful Garden. I absolutely love this stamp. I love the DSP, which I have here. I am also using some of the Memories and More um, cards, which are petal, called Petal Garden. And it all coordinates. Um, and these are just stunning. Absolutely stunning. I'm actually going to be using a couple of these cards from the Memories and More pack in my design so just to add that little bit of it's a luxury card <laughs> I've gone a bit mad <laughs> so let's get cracking with the stamping now I'm actually going to use fresh fig because I want this to be lovely and bold so I do have the trellis work what I call trellis work stamp and the rose already mounted on blocks so let's get cracking. Okay, so I'm inking this up and I'm just going to catch the corner. This is, uh, I'm going to put all the measurements on my blog because I've got quite a lot of layers. Three and a quarter by three and a quarter, the stamping layer, and it's square. So I'm just going to catch that corner like so. Okay, and then I'm going to re ink and I'm just going to catch the top corner. So I'm just using part of the stamp, not all of it. Okay. But I've got pretty good paper. <laughs> and then I'm going to ink up the rose. Very, very simple design. Anybody can do it. And the rest of the card is simple as well. It's just a case of getting used to your matting and layering. So I'm stamping this at an angle, going across the card, like so just fits in between the design there we go and look at that beautiful detail that it gives you it's got all the shading already in for you it's awesome I love it so I'm just going to bob that out of the way and then I'm using the teeny tiny sentiment here that just says for you um, I just need to practice stamp to see if it's straight on my block because uh, it is a little little teeny tiny stamp I would suggest practicing and making sure you've got it straight before you go direct to your card, which I am doing, and I'm just putting it direct there. So it's a special card, it says for you. So it can be for a birthday or anything because that's quite, you know, or a thank you, or if somebody just needs cheering up, anything. Okay, we'll just give it a waft. And then I'm going to do some colouring. So I'm using my watercolour pencils and I'm going for Calypso Coral. The reason being, it's going to coordinate with the rest of my card, which you'll see in a minute. Is that Calypso Coral? That's pumpkin pie. Oh, one minute. Jeez, I had to pause for a minute there because somebody was knocking on my door. <gasps> Dear me, right, so I've got Calypso Coral and I'm going to use Old Olive as well. Okay, so all I'm going to do is I'm just going to colour all of that flower in. I'm not too worried about any shading or anything, I'm just colouring it in, just, just colour straight over the top of the ink. And just cover all of that white with Calypso Coral, fairly, fairly pale to start with. Okay. Doesn't matter if it's not even because we're going to go in with a blender pen. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add some pressure so it's a, a bit darker colouring near where the shading already is. It's kind of there to help you. It's really awesome. So I'm just going to add a bit of extra. And I'm just basically just scribbling a bit darker in some areas. Okay. Uh, and 
I'm just doing it close to where we've already got some indication of shading. So I'm following what the stamp's already telling me where the shading should be. So it's really not difficult. A bit of extra there. It doesn't even have to be tidy. You can just literally just scribble because we're going to use the magic pen. And I'm going to do the same on the green. So very gently. I love these watercolour pencils. They're like magic. I'm just colouring it in. And then the leaves, really gently. Pale colour all over. Just literally scribble it in. And then I'm going to go slightly darker near to where that shading is. So I'm pressing on quite a bit there. Just to give myself a bit of darker green. Where the shading is. Then I'm going to come with my magic pen. <laughs> which is a Stampin' Up Blender pen. And I'm going to gently go over that. And it's going to... Well, it blends. And... the makes your colouring look amazing okay so just start from the dark bit and gently work your way out with gen gentle strokes that's what I found is the best way personally okay so now I've got some um, kind of tone and shading in that in those leaves without really knowing what I'm doing or being terribly artistic it still looks really good and then if I just colour straight onto the paper, it'll get the green off and I can go and work on the Calypso Coral. So again, where I've done it darker, I'll just drag it out slightly with the blender pen just to blend it. Okay. I'm just running over it. Just very gently. And it just blends it beautifully. I prefer to use these on the watercolour pencils than I do on the Stampin' Up markers. I think you just get a brilliant, it really is very good. So you're just going over it. just And it pulls the colour around so you can basically put that colour where you want it. It's awesome. I love play. I could play with these all day. Then if you've got any white spaces, just... Blend it in, there you go. Doo -doo. Done. Put my pencils back in there. My blender pen away and that's my stamping layer done. Um, I am going to just very gently ink it with... Um, what colour shall I use? Because I don't actually... I'm going to use, I'm going to use a very light amount of Flirty Flamingo. You might think I'm mad, but a very, very light... Just a very light dusting of Flirty Flamingo. Okay. It will all come together. <laughs> Trust me. Okay. Get that so it's all blended. Right, so there we go. Just a bit there. So now I'm going to bring in my layers that I'm going to put together to make this card a little bit special. And I have pre cut them all. All the measurements will be on my blog. I'm just going to get rid of this paper so I don't want it all over my cardstock. And basically, Remove that card. We're going to have a very lovely layered card. So, so that's for the front and that's going inside. So basically we've got a small card going inside a large card and it's going to close like that. It's that style of card. You'll have seen it before. It's nothing groundbreaking. Okay. So I need to start and layer all this card together now. So this is the back. This is... Um, 
See the pool party also have sky, I can never remember which is which. This is Calypso Coral. This is from the Petal Garden Suite paper and it has the Calypso Coral and the same blue in. Okay, so we're going to layer those up first of all. Uh, all of the measurements will be on my blog. But you can basically, you can make this to, for your own measurements. You can, um, I saw a card visually similar to this on Pinterest and I thought, oh, that's a nice idea. And I just went about and came up with my own dimensions for it. Okay. Right, um, the having lots of layers helps bring out the colour in the DSP. So sometimes you might want to be frugal and scrimper with your supplies and sometimes you might just want to make a special card so you don't mind using, you know, quite a bit of supplies. So that's inside and as we can see I've done the front cover so that there's a small gap because it's, that card's going to go on there and then it's all going to close up. Okay. So I'm going to layer the front here. Because there's lots of layering, I am using wet glue and then I can get it, you know, quite precise and straight. <laughs> so I, don't, I don't want it wonky when I'm, you know, trying to make a special card for somebody. Um, you want to make sure it's really nice and I do have a lady in mind for this card. So there we go. Not on the front. So you can see we're building up layers and layers of colour and all colours that coordinate with each other. It's really easy. That's why stamping up is, is good because I know that that colour there is Calypso Coral. So then I just go and get Calypso Coral cardstock and it will automatically coordinate perfectly. And that absolutely looks lovely without even trying. Now I've got this card here out of the Petal Garden Memories and More. It's going to need cutting down, so let me think, let me remind myself how wide my card is, how long my card is, I beg your pardon. And it's just like a journaling card and it says live in the moment. So my card depth is five and three quarters, so I'm just going to cut it to five and three quarters. Because the bottom of there is a bit bigger than the top, so I'm just going to cut it to five and three quarters. No. If it's five and three quarters, I want an increment, so five and a um, half. I want, I think. <laughs> I think that's right. I didn't really plan this bit. Let's have a look. Yeah, that just gives me a little increment all the way around. So now I can add this inside. Okay. Like so. It's just a little extra touch when the person opens the card to get that lovely memories and more card there with that lovely quote on. Uh, it's just a little extra touch. Okay, so now this mini card here that's going to go inside, I need to start and layer up. So we're going to have it going that way. So a normal card would open that way, but we're going to have it that way. Okay, so first of all, I've got my blue layer, which I do think is soft sky. <laughs> I, think it is. I think it is soft sky, I don't think it's pull parta. It's either or. Whichever's in that, it's the same as what's in there and I, I, I'm not, I'm a, I'm a naughty demonstrator and I didn't check before I switched my camera on. So that's that and then I'm going to layer my stamped layer on the top of that. Like so. So it might look like it's complicated, but it really isn't. It's just lots of layers cut and stuck on top of each other. Like a big card sandwich. Okay. And then we're going to do the inside on that side. And once you've got your layers cut, it's extremely simple. There's no fancy folding, all of the detail is in the fact that it's layered 
and it's a lovely layered look. And then I've got a white one here, which somebody could write on if they so desired. Okay, like so. Uh, and what I'm going to do for my added touch is I have this little rose card again, which is out of the Memories and More Petal. Is it called Petal Garden? Let me just check. Petal Garden. So it's a little a little Memories and More card, and it's got a beautiful saying on one side, life is beautiful and so are you. And then it's got a little rose on the other side. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to attach that inside so the person can take it out like it's a memory keepsake. And I'm using one of these little gold um, binder clips. And it also looks really pretty from the other side as well. Okay, like so. And now I'm going to stick this smaller card inside my larger card. Now I'm going to do this carefully because I want it to all shut nicely. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to close it. And I'm going to adjust it where I'd like it. And I'd like it, I think I might actually have it all the way down so that it, can open like a Z fold. You could have it slightly in the middle like that. That looks really nice. Shall we? Or shall I have it all the way down? I think. I think it looks quite nice central, doesn't it? Right, so what I'll do then is I've got it central, I've got it where I want it. So I'm going to hold it, I'm going to open it like that, and I'm going to glue the back of here. I think I will have it central. And then I'm going to close my card, turn it over, okay, and then that will be where I want it to be, so gently open, very carefully, and gently open the front, and then if you think it needs straightening, just straighten it up, and before it dries, just check that it all shuts nicely, which it does, and I quite like that. So when you open it, you've got your lovely uh, sentiment there. You've got a part to write on. You've got this little card that they can remove. And uh, it's nice and sturdy. And when they close it up like so, they've got the beautiful stamped image on the front. So there you go. I think that's really awesome. Uh, give it a try. All the measurements will be on my blog. Thanks for watching. Bye.